Hi gang, Rob here. It is the evening of 28 March 2024, Thursday night at 9 o'clock. Must be time for a knife sale on the Apostle P channel, and a knife sale we shall have. Before we get into the thick of it, let's do a little bit of housekeeping as usual. First off, I need you to be familiar with and agreeable to the terms of the sale. I'm going to post them on the screen for you in just a moment. I will also print them in the description underneath this video. Also in the description at the very top above the terms, you're going to see three links to previous videos on this channel. The first is called a primer for buyers. That's a 38 minute expanded explanation of the terms of the sale. So especially if you're new to this weekly sales event, I really think it would help you if you watch that video because it explains exactly how we do things and why every Thursday night. So that'll make your purchase experience go much more smoothly. The second link is entitled FAQs for Consigners. Just like it sounds, that video pertains to you if you're interested in using this weekly sale to move along some of your own collection. So give that a watch if you want to consign some knives. The third link, as always, is to my rates and services video for the Apostle P Knife Service, the original precision sharpening service for the online knife community. And on that note, if you need some knives sharpened, this is the time. Backlog, I think, is under three weeks right now, so you won't miss them for long. <clears throat> okay, in that all-important description, you're going to see those three links at the top, then the terms of the sale, and at the bottom, the reason you all came, the list of tonight's inventory, complete with timestamps on the left, pricing on the right. In that pricing column, you'll generally see two numbers. The one to the left of the slash is the price of your knife as shown in the video. And the price on the right is the, uh, the cost of your knife as sharpened by the Apostle P Knife Service. There will be room for four, count them four, knives to be sharpened next day. So the first knives purchased to be sharpened tonight will ship tomorrow, Friday the 29th, with all of the as shown inventory. And as I said, if you want your knife sharpened and it falls outside those first four, it'll only be three weeks, maybe a little less before it ships. If you see the word sold in lieu of pricing in that right-hand column, that means the knife you're interested in has been bought and paid for by its new owner. No need to send an I'll take it or an inquiry about anything marked sold, all caps, exclamation point. I think that is about it for housekeeping. Let's get the terms up on the screen for you, and we'll be right back, back with the sale. Here are the terms. All right, let's get to it, shall we? First up, we've got two sale lots from last week still left over. One of them we're packaging up in a huge bundle. We're going to call it Budget Mega Combo. And you're going to get five knives. So let's look at them, shall we? Let me get them all dug out here. Number one is from United Cutlery, and it is a Karambit. Model UC2786. It has a stainless steel blade. We think it's like 7CR or something. <clears throat> blade length is about 4 inches. The handle is an over molded, sort of pliable polymer. And then you got a ring tail. Handle length is 6 inches. We'll call it near mint, no box. Comes with a leather sheath with kind of a gun holster thumb break. Kind of cool. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then you're going to get this little skeleton knife. Comes in a nylon sheath. It's the United Cutlery 1263B. Black coated Tonto Edge knife. Looks like this one's been sharpened. It's the undercover. <clears throat> Next, you get the Camillus Beast. A monster black G10 handle scale is kind of a satin finish. Right hand, right hand tip up or down pocket clips kind of got a smoky PVD on it with a little dagger cut out or a knife cut out. It is a flipper, but it don't flip very good. <clears throat> the blade steel is VG10, four inches in length. You can open with a flipper. You open it with the hole. Handle length is uh, five and seven eighths. Stainless steel liner lock, locks up thusly. 
Lockups rock solid. Action's a little sticky, but not bad. Centering right down the middle. This looks like it's had the coating removed, by the way, because it says it had some kind of a titanium coating. <clears throat> Big knife. Next, you're going to get the Kershaw 1660 ST Leak. Stainless steel frame lock, a shimmery velvety bead blast, speed safe spring assist, 14C 28 end blade, 2 and 15 16 inches in length, 4 inch handle. There's your lock engagement. Rock solid. Centering very close to perfect. Condition on this near mint. It's in an Ontario Rat 1 box. I won't even bother showing you. <clears throat> and the last knife you will get in its original box. It's from Benchmark. Uh -huh. It is the uh, BKM039. Satin finished stainless steel handle with black in the milled cutouts. Right hand tip down clip. Ceramic blade. Locks up rock solid. Nice action. I think it's on Teflon. Centering. Really, really nice. Uh -huh. So one, two, three, four, five knives. Your price, $40 all in shipped priority mail. So if you figure, yeah, it'll take me... Uh, It'll take me $10 in postage to mail all these at least. So you're getting five knives for $30 plus postage. How can that be wrong? Plus 25 each to sharpen. That is budget mega combo. Budget mega combo. Let me put all this stuff back. Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Next up, our second leftover sale lot. Just one knife, but what a beauty. From MKM, Maniago Knife Makers. We have the flame with the dagger blade, red lava carbon fiber scales. Such a cool knife. Definitely has the, the form aesthetic of an Italian stiletto, but it's not. It is a titanium frame lock, steel inserted variety. So new it still has the little piece of tape underneath the pocket clip. <clears throat> How about that? Looks like possibly a black DLC coated titanium frame. Right hand tip up milled titanium clip. There's your red lava carbon fiber. It is a ball bearing flipper that flips right nicely. It looks like the Zeba design. Mm -hmm. Blade steel on the flame is M390. Length is 2 and 7 eighths. The handle is 3 and 15 sixteenths. Now it's going to be kind of a wedgy blade because it's going to emulate a dagger, although this top edge not sharpened. So nicely made. There's your lock engagement. Right where you want it and it's rock solid. Ball bearing pivot is super free, super smooth. Blade centering right down the middle. Condition like new in box. These are avail available new for $255 at your favorite web retailer. We ran this last week at $195, didn't sell, dropped it to $170 for the weekend. Your price this week is $150, like it is $180 for me to sharpen that M390 blade. That's the MKM Flame. <clears throat> On to the new stuff, and first among them is a little run of Protex. Here's the first one. <clears throat> it is the 5101-Blue Malibu Flipper with the Warncliffe Blade. Yes. So plain hard anodized blue aluminum scales. Bright hardware. Right hand tip up deep carry clip. Nice little fine gear pattern backspacer. Very discreet lanyard attachment. 
ball bearing flipper and a button lock. Flips beautifully. <clears throat> the blade is stonewashed CPM 20 CV. Three and five sixteenths inches in length. There's the Protec Maker's Mark on the spine. Handle length is four and three sixteenths, so very efficient blade to handle ratio. Super nice in the hand. Looks like it needs to be used a little bit. Centering is beautiful. Action is as well. Lock up is rock solid. <clears throat> we'll call this one near mint in box. I think I found these in stock somewhere new for $210 web retail. You can buy this one. 180 all in, shipped priority mail. No additional charges unless you want it sharpened. 210 would be your sharpened price, and next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first four. Protec 5101 Malibu Flipper Blue Warncliffe. Next up, another Protec offering. This is the 5101 Nothing Malibu Flipper. <clears throat> so this will be a 20 CV Warncliffe blade and a black handle. Okay. So same knife as the last one, just a different coloration. And we've got some very light trails in the handle, as you can see. Very light. Blackened, deep carry right hand tip up pocket clip. Worn cliff blade in 20 CV is 3 and 5 sixteenths inches in length. 4 and 3 sixteenths inches of handle. Nice free action. Centering dead down the middle. We will call this one near mint, excellent to near mint in box, just because it's got a little evidence of carry, but not really any scratches, nothing remotely through the coating. <clears throat> Your price on this one, and I think they are available for 210 web retail. Let's do 170 on this one like it is, 200 with my edge. That is the Protec 5101 Malibu Flipper Black Warren Cliff or BK Warren in your description. Next up, we have a sister knife to one we sold last week. Such a cool knife from Protec. It is the 3437 Newport. The label says black handle with 3D wave, mother of pearl button, and a black blade. Let's see what that looks like. <clears throat> we sold the purple one last week, purple plain handle. Look at that. Look at that wave mill pattern. Uh -huh. and the mother of pearl inlay it's a button lock automatic blade is s35 vn three inches of blade four and a sixteenth inches of handle black <clears throat> tip up right hand deep carry clip fires like a rocket locks up solid Blade centering. Close enough to call perfect, I think. A little bit of evidence of carry on the handle. There's a little bright spot right there. But not much. We'll call it near mint in box. I think these are currently available at 250 web retail. On this one, let's do 195 like it is. 220 with an Apostle Piaz. What a great little gents folder. Automatic variety. Beautiful knife. That is the Newport Black Wave from Protec. <clears throat> Next up. More Protec, baby. Mm -hmm. This knife is the 7FC01 Godson Black Handle. Black Blade. Lava Flow Fat Carbon. Ooh. I bet that's a pretty knife. Would you like to see it? Yes, 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 yes. So there's your show side. <clears throat> Black hard, an hard anodized aluminum handle and your Lava Flow Carbon inlay. Over here, you got a right hand tip up deep carry clip. And then you got a button lock auto mechanism. Oh yeah. 
There's that Godson blade. 154 cm. 3 and 3 sixteenths inches of blade, 4 and 7 sixteenths inches of handle. It just fits so nicely in the hand. Let's see, lock up, dead rock solid. Centering. Let's see if I can get a little light on the subject. It's dead in the middle. Condition on the Godson near mint in box. <clears throat> Out of stock at 290 Web Retail. If you wanted to buy a new one, this one can be yours. 200 bucks, all in, shipped priority mail. 225 if you'd like my edge on it. That is the Lava Flow Godson from Protech. <clears throat> Next up, more Protech. This is the BR-1.3 Whiskers design with a patterned bolster, a plain edge blade, and stonewash, and a black handle. Mm -hmm. So here you go. Just a right smart looking little pocket knife, I would say. What do you all think? Let's see, is it a flipper? No. Is it a button lock? No. There's no thumb stud. I can't pinch it. What if I just move the bolster? Oh, there we go. There she is. Yeah. 154 CM blade, 3 and 8 inches in length. Looks like it's been touched up. Certainly not overly sharpened. Little bit of roll at the tip. Very slight evidence of carry. Uh, the handle on the whiskers is 4 and a 16th. Right hand tip up deep carry clip and to retract the blade, same thing, just move the bolster. <clears throat> blade centering on this one, dead down the middle, and how's the lock up? Rock solid. A little bit of evidence of carry in the handle, a little bit of a nick right there. <clears throat> We'll say excellent in box, slight trails touched up. Yeah. These are out of stock when they were available. They were 265 web retail. Might as well let the original owner take the hit. How about we do 195 shipped priority mail and then 220 if you'd like my edge on it. That is the Whiskers Magic Knife from Protect. Next up is our last ProTech. I'm sad. <clears throat> There's the box. There's the label. Interesting. It's a tactical response series knife, the TR5SA.1 Lurch Assist. Hmm. I don't see too many of these. Kind of a cool concept. <clears throat> so it is a ProTech knife with a button lock, as you can see. We've got a backspacer, got a deep carry right hand tip up clip, but if I push the button, nothing happens. It's a spring assist knife, not an automatic. And it fires like a rocket when you touch off that uh, thumb stud, and then you got a big spring to overcome when you close it. Yep. <clears throat> Good looking blade. S35VN, 3 and 5 sixteenths inches in length. The handle is four and three eighths. In the hand, you can hold it back here. You can sneak forward. Lock up is rock solid. You saw the action and the centering is a very, very close to perfect. If not, I think I'm gonna call that perfect. <clears throat> very little evidence of carry wear. We'll call it near mint in box. <clears throat> You could say excellent to near mint. These are out of stock when they were last available. They were $260 web retail. We're gonna do this one at 180 like it is. We're gonna do this one at 180 like it is. 205 with an Apostle P Edge. The TR5 SA.1 Lurch from Protec. Next up, it is Microtech time, boys. The first one, mm-hmm. 
is the 140-1 TG Truidon Tonto Edge in titanium gray hard anodized aluminum. What a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Does that not pop for a simple black and gray knife? Yep, coming close so you guys can see the pertinent data. So serial number is 7913, born July of 21. The handle on the Truidon is four inches in length, plus the nut and glass breaker. Spine mounted button. We will call that uh, medium to firm with 100% reliability in my experience with it. <clears throat> three inches of blade. It is a double action OTF automatic. Two-tone Tonto blade in M390. Some very, very light wear on the corner of the handle right here. That's about it. We will call it near mint in box. These are out of stock. When they were last available, they had a web retail price between $400 and $427. This one can be yours for $255. Ship priority mail. $285 if you'd like my edge on that Tonto blade. The 140-1 TG Trudon TE in gray from Microtech. Next up, what a cutie this one is. Uh-huh. This is the model 149-13AP, the UTX-70 Tonto Edge, black handle and bronze apocalyptic blade and hardware. There you go, black hard anodized handle. Got a little bit of wear at the corners. There's your clip, what a cute little clip. Yes, serial number is 19813. Born December of 2020. Handle length on the 70 is 3 and 5 sixteenths the blade, 2 and 3 eighths of Tonto edged CTS204P, if you can see that. Uh -huh. That bronze apocalyptic finish is beautiful. Button effort medium on this one. 100% reliability. We'll call it excellent in box. It's got honest Boba Fett almost going on, but not much of it. <clears throat> uh, price of these brand new, and they are in stock, I believe. Web retail is $285. Let's do $195 on this one. $225 with an Apostle P Edge. That's the UTX 70 Tonto Edge from Microtech. Next up, probably my favorite Microtech in tonight's sale. Here it is, boys. Model 233-12 DBL. It is a UTX 85 Tonto Edge in distressed blue, apocalyptic finish, not bronze, just plain apocalyptic, with a full serrated Tonto blade. Look at that. That's how this one came new, <clears throat> with the distressed blue, hard anodized aluminum handle. Four and one eighth inches of handle plus the nut and the glass breaker spine mounted switch. Let's see, I wrote medium firm on button effort, but it's really more medium. <clears throat> the blade, the CTS 204P. One of the knives I actually like to be serrated. <clears throat> Because with the wedgy geometry of an OTF blade, sometimes serrations just get the job done. And let's face it, it looks cool. 100% <clears throat> reliability. Condition near mint to like new in box. Serial number is 67741, born 6, or so June of 2021. 
These are out of stock. When they were available, they would have been 276 web retail. Let's do 210 on this one. No need to sharpen. That is the UTX 85 Tonto Edge in Distress Blue from Microtech. Next up, in our last Microtech tonight, we're going to end with a cool one. It's from the Signature Series with the Anthony Marfione autograph. The Mini Truodon Hellhound Stonewash Standard Model 819-10S. Black. Hard anodized aluminium handle, just some little trails, but nothing remotely through the coating. Three and an eighth inches closed plus the nut and glass breaker. Spine mounted switch. Look at that serial number, guys. Serial number 156, born December of 22. Button effort, medium. Reliability, 100%. There is some extremely light staining in the stone wash. If I didn't tell you about it, you might not see it. It would be easily flitzed if you wanted to. Blade length, premium stainless steel. <laughs> so it's whatever they're running at the time they make a, a run of these uh, signature series knives. So they, you know, they were LMAX for a while. They were M390. They were 204P. Could be any of those. Blade length is uh, 1 and 15 16 California legal, maybe. We'll say excellent to near mint in box. Uh, I think you can buy this knife right now for $429 web retail, brand new. How about we just save you $100? Yeah, $325 like it is, $355 with an Apostle P Edge on the Microtech Signature Series Mini Trudon Hellhound. Next up, Ooh. from Hogue, we got a DECA Model 24263, the Able Lock Folder, Warncliffe Blade, Tumbled Finish, Blue Lava G10 for the, for the, the yeah, scales. There you go. Kind of a cross hatching herringbone mill pattern in that Blue Lava G10. It'll have an ambidextrous tip-up pocket clip with a fill tab on the other side. The able lock mechanism. Thumb studs and phosphor bronze washers. Alan Elishowitz design. Blade is in CPM 20 CV. I don't know if I'd call that a Warncliffe, but it is a cool little sort of nightmare ground blade. Nice and thin, sub 1 8 stock. Blade length on the deck is 3 and an eighth. The handle is 4 and a quarter. Lockup is rock solid. Blade drops freely. And the centering, hard to see, but it's perfect. Condition will be near mint in box. You can buy this knife brand new. It has a web retail of about 166 or so. Let's do 125 on this one. 155 with an Apostle P edge. Next day sharpening is available. That's the 24263 DECA from Hogue. Next up, if you missed if you missed the twin to this knife last week, today's your lucky day. It's a spider cone. It comes in the luxury pouch. The knife inside is one of the scariest Spideys ever made. It is the Civilian. I believe this one to be a little earlier production than the one we had last week. Why did I think that? Well, here's why. Blade steel is ATS 55, so that. This knife is probably 20 years old. Uh, it looks like it's been carried a little and used never. So you got four and one eighth inches of, <laughs> of gut ripping awesomeness. <laughs> uh, I would not want to be the bad guy when this thing comes out from the pocket of his potential victim. The handle, <clears throat> three, uh, five and three sixteenths inches, black G10 scales. You've got the painted clip, right hand tip down, and really the only significant wear on the knife is that clip. Look, look at the Phillips head screws. That tells you the age of this particular civilian. 
nice smooth action and the grind is deceiving on this knife because of the way that the bevels in the tip are ground but I guess we'll call it perfect but it looks like it's favoring the top side as you're looking at it nice snick solid lock up little tiny bit of vertical if you yank on it condition on this one <clears throat> excellent to near mint and pouch you can still buy this knife and its current configuration has a web retail of 261 for this one let's do 140 no need to sharpen the spider coast civilian next we got the rob's pick for tonight's sale what a little beauty this is boys it's a spider co it's oh, it's just a smock carbon fiber nothing to see here right <clears throat> you guys know this knife uh -huh. carbon fiber over g10 laminate scales ambidextrous tip up pocket clip button actuated compression lock it's a flipper a very discreet flipper tab s30v blade <clears throat> three and seven sixteenths inches in length four and a half handle it's also on ball bearings it has perfect centering mm -hmm. but wait there's more in this little baggie right here I've got a blue anodized titanium pocket clip and I've got blue anodized titanium handle scales that are in very near pristine condition. I don't know who made them. You guys probably do. <clears throat> but you get them. Uh, let's see. The knife, if you buy one brand new right now from your favorite web retailer, will, will run you 228 And then, I don't know what you have here, what, 80 bucks probably? But you can buy the whole shoot and match. $210 shipped priority mail all in or $235 if you want me to sharpen it. Yeah, that's the Spyderco Smock Plus Custom Scales. It is the Rob's pick tonight. Let me carefully put all this stuff away so as not to scratch anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Next up, another Spidey. This is the Canis Plain Edge Carbon Fiber. So interesting knife. <clears throat> carbon Fiber over G10 laminate scales with the newer, more aggressive texture. Four-way clip on this one. Compression lock mechanism. And a really cool blade. A McCann design it looks kind of odd but it cuts just like you know like a yojimbo so it's not a the the funky blade grind is not going to make it a bad cutter not by any stretch of the imagination <clears throat> three and seven sixteenths blade four and three quarters handle beautiful in the hand beautiful in the hand Compression lock works great. Free dropper, rock solid lock up. I think these are phosphor bronze, by the way. Perfect centering. Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> you know, I wrote very close for the centering, so let's see. As you're looking at it, it's going to favor the top ever so slightly. Uh, we'll call it near mint in box. You could probably call it like new if you wanted to. These are currently available brand new for a web retail of two fifty five. Let's do one seventy on this one. One ninety five with an apostle edge. Next day sharpening is available. That's the Canis from Spider Co. <clears throat> Next up, it's Benchmade time, boys. Let's see. We'll start off the Benchmade party with kind of a blast from the past. Mm-hmm. Got a little Applegate Fairbairn theme going on. This is actually a Joe Pardue design. It's the 3551 Pardue Stimulus 
auto from Benchmade. Got a spine mounted safety, kind of squishy. Side folding button lock automatic with a faux dagger blade in 154 cm. Mm -hmm. Blade length three inches, handle four and an eighth. Rock solid lockup. Centering is about perfect. You got a parkerized Emerson style clip with the Benchmade Maker's Mark. You know, I think if you rubbed in a little oil to that that uh, hard anodized finish on the aluminum handle, it would look about new. Definitely never sharpen, rarely if ever cut with. Um, yeah. We'll call it near mint, no box, discontinued and out of stock. I did find a clearance sale price, I think at Blade HQ years ago. They cleared them out at 160. They were a little over 200, I think, before that. Let's do 145 on this one, and 170 with an Apostle, 170 with an Apostle P.I. It's the 3551 Party Stimulus Auto from Ben. Next up, here is a blast from the Benchmade past. Another Mel Pardue design knife, <clears throat> similar to that automatic we just looked at, but this is the 350 SBK Pardue liner lock <clears throat> manual knife. Look at the deeply stamped maker's mark that tells you it's got some age on it, but it is pristine. Manual action thumb stud flicks out beautifully. The old Bal Is Song logo. 3-inch blade, combo edge, black coated. Tip down right hand pocket clip. Mm -hmm. Four and an eighth inches of handle. Rock solid lockup. Engages right in the middle of the blade tang. Free action. F big phosphor bronze washers. Blade centering, beautiful. <clears throat> Condition very near mint, no box. We could call it like new. Discontinued out of stock. Interesting, Benchmade, or I'm sorry, Blade HQ had a sold listing of a used knife just like this. <clears throat> I don't know how many years ago it sold, but it sold for 135. This one, let's do 120 like it is. 145 with an Apostle P edge. Don't know the blade steel it's not marked it's probably predates 154 cm so it might be ats 34. anyway beautiful piece of bench made history 120 like it is 145 sharpen the 350 sbk purdue liner lock <clears throat> next up more from bench made and more from mel pardue this is a 530 pardue so those first two numbers in the model number indicate sort of the top of the lineage of the bug out, right? Very thin, very light. FRN scales on this one. A painted split arrow clip, so it tells you it's probably more than 10 years old. FRN handle is 4 and 3 16 inches in length. The blade. 440C, can you see it behind the thumb stud there? Mm -hmm. Three and a quarter inches in length. Axis lock mechanism, rock solid lockup. Centering is what? Perfect. Condition, near mint, no box. Discontinued, not a stock. I actually did find a price reference for this knife. They sold out at 102 Web Retail years ago. Let's do 85 bucks like it is. 110 sharpened on the 530 Pardue from Benchmade. <clears throat> Next up, another Benchmade. This is the 470 Emissary, and it's a first production run knife. It's got a gray hard anodized aluminum handle, and look at that nice, uniform, beautiful pocket wear. That coating is holding up well. You got a polished deep carry ambidextrous tip up clip, a little bit of evidence of carry in that clip. And it's got a safety and an axis assist mechanism. So you click that up 
and you can't fire the knife, click it down, out she rocks. The blade is S30V, three inches in length. The handle's three and 15 sixteenths. First production run number 846 of 1,000, I believe that says. Great thin little blade, like 90 thousandths or less. Super slicey on the 470 emissary. Solid lockup. I got a little bit of vertical, I'm not sure why. But anyway, not a big deal. Zero side to side. Centering is very close, but favors the top side ever so slightly. We'll say this one is uh, excellent, no box. Discontinued and out of stock at 212. This will be the cheapest one of these I think I've ever sold, guys. 140 like it is, 165 sharpened on the emissary. First production run from Benchmade. Next up, you need a little knife for the glove box of the fishing truck or the tackle box. Here you go. It is the classic, the iconic 556 SBK mini grip, black Norrell GTX handle, painted Emerson style clip, ambidextrous tip up. The blade, black coated drop point, combo edge, 154 cm. 2 and 7 eighths blade, 3 and 7 eighths handle, axis lock mechanism, rock solid. Not quite a free dropper, but eminently flickable. Rock solid lockup. Centering very close. Near mint, no box. Discontinued and out of stock. How can this be? When they were last available, they were 121 map web retail. Let's do 75 bucks on this one, like it is 100 with an Apostle P edge. 556 SBK mini grip from Benchmade. Next up, look at here, boys. We have a Griptilian, a 551 SBK with the camouflage handle. <clears throat> Painted Emerson style clip showing a little bit of wear. Flicks out beautifully. Black coated combo edge blade in 154 cm. Knife's got a little bit of history. Looks like it's been sharpened. Serrations are like pristine. Lock up rock solid. Blade drops freely. Sounds like a grip. Centering down the middle. We'll say excellent, no box. Discontinued, not a stock. These were only 82 bucks web retail when they sold out. But let's do 60 on this one. 85 with an Apostle P edge, the 556. SBK Griptilian full size in camo. Next up, more bench made. This is the 586 BK Mini Barrage. This would be the up level barrage, right? M390 blade, black G10 3D machine scales, and aluminium bolsters that continue the same mill pattern. Parkerized split arrow clip, axis assist mechanism, spring loaded deployment, M390 blade, black coated, a little bit of coating wear. Not a whole lot of edge wear, but it's kind of dull. Blade length is 2 and 7 eighths inches of M390, 3 and 15 16 handle, rock solid lockup, free action. Centering, I'm going to call close to very close. We'll say it's excellent, no box. These are now discontinued and out of stock. When they sold them new, they had a web retail of about 235 On this one, patina. Let's do 135 like it is, 165 with my edge on that M390 blade. The 586 BK Mini Barrage from Benchmade. Next up, oh guys, if this had a box, you'd be paying a lot more money. <clears throat> this is a Warren Osborne design from Benchmade. It is the 930 Kulgera, the Kulgera from Benchmade. Black and blue G10. 
a polished clip with a black PVD coating, a little bit of wear in the clip, and then the liners also carry that black PVD, which is very cool. A little bit different of an axis lock actuating bar end there. Thumb stud deployment. The blade is S30V. Very cool pattern, by the way. Uh, three and five eighths inches of blade, so a little longer blade than a 940. Four and three eighths handle, so very efficient blade to handle ratio on this knife. Rock solid lockup. Not quite a free dropper as it's adjusted. Mm -hmm. How's the blade centering? I think we'll call that, well, it's as close to perfect as my eyes can see. There you go. So we will say excellent to near mint, no box, only because the, the clip does show some scratches. Okay. <clears throat> They're long discontinued, not a stock. Arizona Custom Knives sold one recently for $345. I'm sure it had the box. This one doesn't. Let's do $185 like it is, $210 with an Apostle PH, the 930 BK Colgera from Benchmade. Next up, <clears throat> another Benchmade. I think we sold a $705 last week. This week, let's do a McHenry Williams 707S sequel first production run so black hard anodized aluminum handle with black g10 inlays tip up ambidextrous parkerized split arrow clip a little bit of wear on the clip axis lock mechanism combo edge drop point blade and 154 cm first production run i didn't look at the number let's see 423 of a thousand rock solid lockup not quite a free dropper blade centering is dead a little bit of handle wear a little chip right there mm -hmm. we'll call it excellent to near mint no box these are discontinued not a stock Sold listings on eBay ranging between 181 and 253. Let's do 160 on this knife, 185 with an Apostle Piage, the 707S sequel from Benchmade. Next up, here's a knife I would never have sought out to buy, but it's such a cool little knife. A little fixed blade from Benchmade. It is the 210 Snowdy Activator. Comes in a fold-over kydex sheath with adjustable tension, so you can lock it in for neck carry if you so desire. No thumb ramp, but you can kind of push off the, the kydex. Look at that little cutie. S30V blade, two and an eighth inches, three and three eighths inches of handle with silver twill carbon fiber scales and black normal carbon fiber bolsters. Great finger groove on this knife jimping in exactly the right place a little lanyard hole full tank construction <clears throat> super cool little fixed blade from Benchmade I should rip off that design and have Mike Stewart make some anyway mm. that is the 210 snow deactivator near meant to like new no box discontinued and out of stock I found one sold at Arizona Custom Knives that sold at 145. Let's do 125 on this one and 145 if you want an Apostle Piedge. That's the Benchmade 210 Snowdy Activator. Cool little knife. Next up, another Benchmade. This is the 176 BKSN SOCP Dagger. So the SN means the sand colored sheath, the BK means black blade. And the 176 means SOCP Dagger. Now this is a relatively early one, Greg Thompson design. 
the early ones were only sharpened from the tip to here. Because, and actually, it's kind of smart. All this knife has to do is poke into stuff. It's not a, it's not a paring knife. It's not a carving knife. It's a dagger. Mm -hmm. A little tiny bit of coating wear. Looks like it might have poked into something once. <clears throat> Anywho. 440C blade, three and a quarter inches to there, then a handle of four inches. I'm not quite sure how you're supposed to grip this knife, but I bet you Greg Thompson could tell us. He's the designer. Anyhow, this knife sells new for a price of 117 map web retail. We'll call this one near mint, no box. And we're going to sell it for 75 bucks. No need to sharpen. The SOCP dagger from Benchmade. <clears throat> Next up, our loan offering from ZT tonight. Experience it, and you should. This is the ZT in-house design, ZT0707. Pretty cool slim gents folder, don't you think? Black carbon fiber scale. Kind of a dark stone wash on the titanium frame. It is a titanium frame lock with a steel lock face insert. Very low profile, shorty, deep carry, ambidextrous clip. I think. Yeah. Ball bearing flipper. Pretty cool blade. Very Kershaw. Uh huh. That's three and nine sixteenths inches of twenty CV. Four and eleven sixteenths handle. Rock solid lockup. Smooth ball bearing action. Perfect centering. Condition on this one, we'll say, is near mint in box. Very near mint. You can buy one of these brand new at your favorite web retailer for $210. Probably plus tax, maybe some postage. Or just buy this one. All in, shipped, 160. And then 190 if you want my edge on that 20 CV blade. That is the ZT0707. <clears throat> Next, we have a very cool, inexpensive automatic knife from Boker Plus. It is the 06EX270. They call it the USB. Why would they call it that? Because that's what it looks like. Right? It looks like a thumb drive. I think that's a black card anodized aluminum handle. Sure looks like it. You got a side mounted button. It's a double action automatic. Medium button effort, black wash blade in D2. Nice fullered drop point. Blade length is 1 and 13 sixteenths. The handle is 2 and 7 eighths. Got a little lanyard hole. So you can hang it from your neck like a thumb drive. <clears throat> Beautiful little blade. Near mint to like new no, uh, inbox. Uh, price of these brand new 76 web retail. Let's do 55 on this one and then 80 if you'd like my edge on it. And that is shipped priority mail. The USB from Boker Plus. Next, another one from Boker Plus. I got no box, but I do have a Boker Plus booklet. Let me think of that. <clears throat> the knife is the Lucas Burnley design Quiken in titanium scale, right? So you got four and three quarters inches of handle, heavy stainless steel liners for the liner lock mechanism. We have IKBS bearings and a flipper. Blade is VG10, three and a half inches in length. The handle is four and three quarters. Pocket clip is tip up, right hand only. Gorgeous stonewashed titanium slabs on the side. I think that must be, I guess it's on phosphor, no, it's on IKBS, dummy. Wow. There's your lock engagement, beautiful. Lockup's rock solid. Bearings are super smooth. Centering is super perfect. Condition on this we'll call near mint no box. Current web retail for the still in production knife is 135. Let's do 95 bucks shipped priority mail on this one. 120 with an Apostle Piaget. The Boker Plus Burnley Quiken 
titanium. <clears throat> Next up, we got one from Benchmade. Okay, I need you guys to help a brother out. Got a customer who bought this knife a few weeks ago for his wife. And she figured out, well, it takes two hands to close it. She don't like it. We got we to gotta help him out. We got to get him out of this. It's the Benchmade 2950BK-2 Partial Immunity Automatic in CPM M4. What a gorgeous little pocket knife, guys. Oh. Would you look at that shimmering green hard anodized coating on those beautifully milled aluminum scales? Yes. We got a factory lanyard with probably a titanium bead. We got a Parkerized shorty deep carry pocket clip and we got an auto access mechanism with a gorgeous charcoal Cerakote M4 blade CPM M4 blade length is 1 and 15 sixteenths handle 3 and 7 sixteenths small knife but beautiful in the hand could you even come up there yes you could yes Oh, rock solid lockup, beautiful axis action, auto axis action. Centering is dead. Condition, whoops, like new in the box. You can buy these brand new right now for $2.92 web retail. My customer paid $185 for this one a few weeks ago. That's your price. $185 like it is, $210 with an Apostle P Edge. That is the Partial Immunity Auto from Benchmade. Next up, <clears throat> I almost made this knife the Rob's pick, but I didn't. I'll tell you why as we roll along. It's a bench made. It is the limited edition 940-2001 Osborne Titanium. So here you go, boys. You've got titanium scales on a 940. It is wearing a polished split arrow clip that's got some wear, but how about that? We've got a little smoky stonewashed shorty deep carry affair that could go on there just as easily. Okay, so axis lock mechanism, S90V blade, and it tells us the, the serial number, the limited edition, number 611, but doesn't tell us how many were made. Blade steel is S90V, blade length 3 and 7 sixteenths, 4 and a half inch handle, axis lock, phosphor bronze, and thumb studs. Now, I did sharpen this knife some years ago for this customer, and most of the blade is still very sharp. It's got a little roll at the tip, I think. A very, very slight one. Just very, very slight. And there might be... Yeah, there, there's a little edge wear. Rock solid lockup. Beautiful action. Velvety smooth. Kind of hydraulic. Centering is down the middle. There's a strange little mark in the titanium, a little stain right here. So it's got a little clip wear, it's got a little edge wear, it's got a little stain. So I didn't want to make it the Rob's pick, but it's going to be the cheapest one of these you've ever seen. Um, we'll call it excellent in box. They're discontinued, not a stock. Sold listings on eBay range between $350 and $600 for this knife. Your price, $225 like it is, $255. I put a fresh Apostle Piage on it. That is the Benchmade Apostle Piage on it. That is the Benchmade 940-2001 Limited Edition Osborne. Next up, we have a little Sprint Run Spidey for you. Military gray crew wear from Golden, Colorado, USA Earth. That is a light gray set of G10 scales. Right hand tip down clip. There's your blade and CPM crew wear. The blade is 3 and 15 16 inches in length. The handle is 5 and a half. Stainless steel liner lock mechanism locks up beautifully and rock solid. The blade nice and free. The centering I called. I called it perfect. It's pretty doggone close. 
Now this is another knife that I sharpened at some point. This one definitely has a little roll at the tip. But the rest of the edge, pretty doggone good. But, ah. but you can see that roll. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Anyhow, not a big deal. So this sprint run is discontinued, not a stock. Didn't find any sold listings on eBay, but I did find a sold listing at Arizona at 365. Let's do 210 on this one, 235 if you'd like me to sharpen. That's the Spyderco Military Gray Crew. Next up, our loan offering from Great Eastern Cutlery tonight. This is a 2023 production of the number 14 Tidute Cutlery Barlow, model 143223 in autumn peach sawcut bone. Yeah. There you go. That is some gorgeous bone. It really, really, really is. Unlike many previous TC Barlows, this is wearing nickel silver bolsters and brass liners instead of all steel. It is, uh, it is 3 and 1 16 inches in closed length. Main blade is a sheep's foot with the good as gold etch. Cut swedge long pull. Secondary pen on a nail neck. Pull very light on this knife. I'm going to call it a five and a half. Walk and talk and centering all work great. Condition will be near mint to like new and tube. Sold listings on eBay ranging between 177 and 230 for this knife. Let's do 170 on this one. 200 I sharpen both blades. The number 14 Tidute Cutlery Barlow from GEC. Next up, lefty alert, lefty alert. We have a Spyderco Paramilitary 2 left. It's funny, I am a lefty. I've had numerous para 2s, and I'm pretty good at using them with my left hand. It's funny, because I don't use this one very well with my left hand, and it's a lefty knife. Look at that, there we go. Free drop and blade. Black G10. Oh, and this is wearing an Apostle P edge, by the way. And it's still very fresh. Blade steel is where? S45VN. No blade play. <laughs> Centering is close. Very close. We'll say near mint inbox with my edge. You buy one of these knives brand new, it'll run you $199 map web retail. This one with my edge already on it, $150 shipped priority mail. No need to sharpen. That is the pair of two lefty with an Apostle P edge from Spyderco. Next up, we're going to call this the traditional slip joint combo. <clears throat> two knives. The star of the show is this one. It is the Remington UMC 1187-870 shotgun knife. Five and a quarter inches of closed length, jigged Delrin covers, single blade, long muskratty clip, about a seven pull, cam tang. You got your Remington etch on the mark side. And then you have your 1187 auto and 870 pump <clears throat> etch on the pile side, made in 1990-ish. And it looks to me like this run of Remingtons was contracted to Schrade by the materials in construction. So it's an inexpensive, well-made knife made in the USA. We'll call it excellent, no box. Walk and talk are great. And the centering, how about that, boys? Yeah, and then you're also going to get with it a little Chinese NRA knife, 40th anniversary. You got what looks like real smooth white bone, some nickel silver bolsters and end caps that are don't have much nickel in them, brass liners, 
muskrat clip main. By the way, it's four and an eighth inches closed. Space secondary on cam tanks, about seven pole. Centering, not horrible. Who knows? <clears throat> but you get both knives, shipped priority mail for 50 bucks. Plus 20 if you want me to sharpen this. Plus 30 if you want me to sharpen both blades on that one. So that is the traditional slip joint combo number one. This is what you're really buying. Next up, we have one from Buck, and it's a fixed blade. It's the 141 pack light. I don't know the dash number, but try to find one of these with a blue handle. Not going to be easy. Comes in a nylon belt sheath with a plastic sleeve inside. And here's the knife. 420 HC blade wearing an Apostle P edge. Still quite sharp, by the way. Like a crinkle coat blue epoxy. <clears throat> three and three quarters of blade measured to about there. And the handle four and five sixteenths. Not bad for a skeleton handle knife in the hand. You can sneak forward on that jimping. Maybe use it for a gutting knife. Recurve hollow ground blade. My edge, near mint, no box. Unobtainium in blue. Can't find a listing or a sole listing or anything for that knife. But it's got to be worth 30 bucks shipped priority mail. That's your price. No need to sharpen. Next up, we got what we're going to call the Outdoorsman Combo. <clears throat> so first of all, you're going to get this Made in Canada Groman knife. Uh -huh. Pick 2 Nova Scotia, Canada. And it is the National Wild Turkey Foundation commemorative knife from 2001. Number 227 of 2000. We know it's a stainless steel blade. We know it's 3 and 3 quarters inches in length. The handle is 4 and 3 quarters. Laminated rosewood handle. Read stained plywood. <laughs> steel half guard really really nice in the hand and a leather sheath you get with it the browning <clears throat> 470 478 rmef hatchet that's the rocky mountain elk foundation hatchet mm -hmm. See, there's your RMEF, there's Browning, and your Model 478. Don't know the steel. I do know it's made in China. The dimensions are 2 and 3 sixteenths by 4 by 9 and 5 eighths. G10 handle scales. Yeah. I'm not so wild about this sheath system, but... It's better than nothing. So we'll say both of them are near mint. No boxes. Your price for the whole sheet and match, shipped priority mail, 45 bucks, plus 25 each to sharpen. That is the Outdoorsman Combo. Yeah. That brings us to the last knife in tonight's sale, and it is a doozy, boys. It sure is. So... This is the sheath that it comes with, <clears throat> which, by the way, is a lefty carry black leather sheath. Who could it be? Hmm. Hmm. But the knife is actually in this sheath, which is a digicam with a sleeve, belt loop splitter. Yeah. Molly, made in USA. The knife. <laughs> oh is the Chris Reeve Pacific. <laughs> Why do I like the Pacific more than the Green Beret? Could it be the clip point blade? I think it is. This is the Harsey designed Pacific. Blade is S35VN. It is black PVD coated. It has serrations at the base. It is also wearing a polished edge from the Apostle P knife service. Yes, I sharpened this for my consigner years ago and it's untouched. 
blade is six and three eighths. The handle is five and a half. The scales are black canvas micarta. Look at the metal finishing all the way around. It's unbelievable. <clears throat> it is near mint, no box. These are currently out of stock. Sold listings on eBay ranging between four seventy and five seventy, and none of those have that edge on them. I can tell you that. Your price for this one, near mint, no box, with two sheets. Let's do four twenty-five. Shipped priority mail. No need to sharpen. That's the Chris Reeve Pacific with an Apostle P edge. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of another weekly knife sale on the Apostle P channel. Hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Grace to you and peace, my friends, from God our Father, and my friends, from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Sunday's coming, boys. Hallelujah and amen. Have at her, boys.